Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Derwent Valley Mills in Northern England. The Derwent Valley Mills are a series of cotton mills along the valley of the River Derwent in the Northern Midlands of England. And it's a very significant area because it's here that the very first modern factories as we think of them were located. And this behind me is the first example. This is Cromford Mill and it was founded in the 1770s by a man named Sir Richard Arkwright. And using an ingenious system of sluices and weirs and aqueducts, his innovation was to use the water from the River Derwent just here to power water wheels within his cotton mills, which meant that they could produce uh, cotton on a scale much larger than anything that had ever been done before. And it also meant that he could use labour that was much less skilled. One of the biggest challenges they faced was that the mass production of goods requires mass transportation. And this was the best option they had, canals. Because of course, when the mills were founded, they predated steam engines and of course, railways. Now this is a street in the village of Cromford and it was set up to house workers from the nearby mill. Now it's important to remember that although we've seen model villages set up for industrial towns like Saltaire and New Lanark, this predated both of them and the founders weren't quite as enlightened. So although workers were provided housing, they weren't provided schools and hospitals and company shops. This is Masson Mill, and it's the second of the mills built by Sir Richard Arkwright here in the Derwent Valley. And unlike Cromford, this mill kept pace with the times. Its water wheels were replaced by steam boilers and later an oil boiler. So the mill could continue operating right up until the late 20th century. It's been quite an interesting day here, having a look at all the mills and thinking about it, the first modern factory is such a monumental development in the world's history that it's probably difficult to overstate the importance of this area. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Joel on the road. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.